What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? It's your boy Kevin to turn on this motherfucking YouTube shit. What's up? What's up? What's up? It's your boy. Can't you tell me what you shit? Hey man, say man, we are lit, eh? Turn, 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 Sure. Um. Private, favorite, lock it down. Whatever we need to do, man. We out here. Can't two turn for the one time, one time. Make sure y'all um keep on supporting. Come to as a black Hebrew Israelite man. Remember who you is, gang. Gang. Remember who y'all is, man. We out here for the one time, one time. We ain't never stopping, man. Cause the grind don't stop, man. If you take days off, you take days off. But we ain't. Stopping game. So make sure y'all fuck with your boy with any bitch. Alright? <clears throat> Today? Some motherfucking day? Show your hood outside crib, man. Alright, gang. Alright, gang, gang, gang. So y'all know what's been going on recently about this Nicki Minaj. <laughs> well, it is the kind of like low key Nicki Minaj, but because you know they have drama beef, but uh, Kanye West and Cardi B situation. Now, Cardi B, uh, it has been type of some type of kind of heat lately. Kanye had exposed her. They he was trying to say that she's um an industry plant. You know what I'm saying? That they brought her in this bitch to like go at Nicki Minaj. You know what I'm saying? Like, and you know what industry plant is basically? They don't write the music. They don't do nothing. Everything is literally done for them. All you gotta do is literally just. Go out here and rap what they saying, and everything else is just is made up, basically. You know what I'm saying? So, Cardi, uh, like I said, Cardi B did respond to it um, about this situation. He was, and she was saying that she's not an industry plant, but you know, what I'm saying? a lot situation. This still like a kind of response. A lot of shit has been still going on about this industry plant situation. Shit. Now. Um, Cardi B got her, uh, first I'm gonna go off some shit. Cardi B got her uh, tongue pierced for offset. Bro, I don't know why you get tongue pierced, but you about to fuck your tongue up, you know what I'm saying? Um, she did it for offset, you know. I think this was after the Kanye West shit, so she did it for, she did it for offset, you know. Um, now we're gonna talk about this, um, this, um, okay. So you know how I was talking about industry plan. Now, she was saying that, telling people why, buy um land and property when you can buy you a Birkin bag and you make more money than on your land. Now, everybody saying she's a dumb bitch. She's dumb, she's dumb, she's dumb as hell. And, you know, it goes off into that, you know what I'm saying, the industry plan shit, you know. I think they were, they were saying, why would you want, why are you telling these people to not invest in land when you let all these white people, you know what I'm saying, take the land, you know what I'm saying. So why would you buy Birkin bags and you don't invest in nothing. You just, okay, you get your money back, but you're not investing into land. You know what I'm saying? So she goes at that shit, you know. Uh, also, she talks about um, getting a podcast. So eventually, Cardi B on a podcast. Talk about um, relationships and, and shit. We got that video. And now, what's extra juicy is the Tasha K situation. Cardi B is might be forgiven Tasha K. Tasha K been crying up a damn storm, begging Cardi B, don't take her motherfucking crib. I think her husband done left her. She back in the hood. You know what I'm saying? She's down bad. You know what I'm saying? She talking about offing herself. Off this $4 million lawsuit because, you know, the lawsuit she won, Cardi B. And all her money is going to basically Cardi B. Off Everything on YouTube is going to Cardi B. So Tasha K ain't making no damn money. You know what I'm saying? And... Cardi B might be releasing it because she ain't making no money off this shit. And plus, um, y'all know about this industry plan shit. So I think it's like a good thing to like make her look kind of good too, cause this shit is looking kind of crazy. So um, tell me how y'all feel about it, man. I'm gonna I'm gonna come back and yeah, we can put these videos down. 
rule or anything. Okay, like okay. That. I'm scared. You'll be, you'll be Are you be Are you fast? Like fast handed? Yeah. Don't get nervous, girl. Oh, yeah, no, I'm good. Yeah, oh, I'm yeah like I'm a, I'm a regular bitch. I'm a regular I'm bitch. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is just another tug. Can you take it all away? When you shove it in my face, take my breath away. I I can't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 okay. Do you want to take a break? Oh. You want to take a break? I need a break. <laughs> I need a break. It's getting too real. It's getting real. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's you. I can take them off. Uh, 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 one more break. One more break. No, you're good. You're good. <laughs> one more break. <laughs> It's because I know she hurt. I know I hurt. And I don't know how to do this. I'm, I'm going through a midlife crisis. <laughs> You're not even at the midpoint yet. All right, I'm not even at the midpoint. I'm a young bitch. I'm only 26. Like a, quarter, like a quarter life. Yeah, like I'm going through a quarter life. I mean, I'm only 26 years old. Like. Okay. All right. All right, so after this, like, you should eat like ice or like... Uh, anything like cold, soft, anything where you don't have to like chew like a whole lot. So yeah. like Slurpees, fucking pudding, ice cream. Mm, Slurpees. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. All right, that's it. We're going at right, it. You like, got it. You got it. Like even like, let me tell you something. Even if I say no, just just be like no, bitch. Like <laughs> I'd be like no, stop playing. Now don't even be nice to me. Like fuck being nice to me. All right, all right, that's it. <laughs> Mm. I bet. Alright. Mm. <laughs> Take a deep breath. Ah! <laughs> you did it. You got it. You're good. Ah! <laughs> Five chicks are done. I just gotta put in the jewelry. Uh. See, that is that. Ah! Yeah, I really regretting piercing my tongue because I am so hungry. I've been hungry since last night, but I don't want to eat because of my tongue. So yeah, I'm starving. It's gonna be very, very long a couple of days. See, I could bring it up. Up. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I really regret piercing my tongue because I am so hungry. I've been hungry since last night, but I don't want to eat because of my tongue. So, yeah, I'm starving. It's gonna be very, very long, a couple of days. See, I could bring it up. Cardi B responds to backlash after preferring to have a Birkin bag over real estate. Let me tell y'all what happened to me in the club last night. I was talking and living my best life. Five minutes in, I walk in the strip club. Then I bit my tongue. I bit my tongue and I feel like this tremendous face. I don't know if I was drunk, but like the pain felt insane, bitch. So I had to tell off, say like, yo, take me out the club. I started panicking. When I got in the car, I told him to go back in the club. Bro, I was bleeding so much of my tongue. I got to take this tongue ring off now. Like, look, the, my tongue is purple. Like, no lie. Look, no kizzy. Look. And I think I popped like a blood vessel or something. Because look at that. That's my tongue. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm scared. I'm so scared. All right. So... All right, so let me talk. All right, so let me tell y'all mother something, right? Because I think people are just like I just I don't think that people understand. They don't got a lot of noggin in the mother head. You know what I'm saying? 
Somebody said, you have perfect seatbelt. Thank you. You know, I pay like a lot of money for these. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like. <laughs> so, um, so let, let's talk about it, right? So I went live the other day and I was talking about like, you know, by now I'd rather have fucking Birkins than fucking properties because my properties have been giving me a headache. And a lot of you motherfuckers been calling me fucking dumb and like, why am I promoting that for people not to buy land and for these helmets to start taking over our communities and shit? Hey babe, I'm on live, honey. What's happening? What's happening? Rip me off the plastic cabinet, the brand new. Uh, smoking on the wild, smoking on you. Huh? Talking about how? Talking about how, babe? How hard is it to these fucking properties? Oh yeah. Man, a headache all the time. <laughs> Damages you gotta fix. Damages you gotta fix all the time. So um, so not. I just want. I just wanna like. I just want all right so this is what i'm talking about that like owning properties is so difficult first of all we have a house in atlanta but <laughs> i don't wanna all right so i just want to let y'all know there's something right like I don't wanna... <laughs> so me and officer has a property in atlanta right but like the gag is i haven't paid all the bills <laughs> i don't pay nothing <laughs> 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 And I'll be like, for right years, I don't give a <laughs> All right, no, but, no, listen, listen. All right, so I'm going to just give, it, give you a perfect example. Our house in Atlanta is what, 6,000 uh, acres, right? It's, no, not, it's six acres, right? Se- what? Seven. It's seven acres, right? It's seven acres. So just the land, w- w- just cutting the grass, because we got to cut the grass how many times a week? It's twice a month. I think every two weeks. It's it's twice a it's twice a month. How every much is that? It's eight hundred every time they cut the grass. Eight hundred every single time they cut the grass. Eight hundred every single time they cut the grass. We have all the types yeah, of animals. Yeah, water leaks, same type shit. Water leaks, especially in that. No, let, maintenance on the house. Shit. Nah, nah, let, no. I want. Matter of fact, let let let's. I'm gonna let y'all know what happened to us in 2019, right? In 2019, we bought our house. Y'all saw that we bought our house and everything. As soon as we bought our house, get the fuck up. As soon as we bought our house, it happened. So we moved to LA for like what? Like a year and some change, right? When we be- went back to Atlanta, they were, cause nobody was living in the house for like a year. As soon as I bought it. When we went to Atlanta, we had so much fucking water damages. It totaled up to like almost what? like. 700,000 it totaled up to 700,000 so we was going back with the insurance for like almost eight months but while we was going back with the insurance for eight months we had to come out our own pocket to fix the roof to fix the patios to fix the walls break down the walls so just by that now I'm not saying that y'all gonna go through that because you know what I'm saying like no, but they will, even if it's a smaller project even, even if it's a smaller project like that shit costs money. So while we waiting for the insurance, we literally came out of pocket like eight hundred thousand fucking dollars just for water leakages. That's on one property, and that was like in twenty twenty. Then we got the tenants, like you said. Yes. Then let's talk about the tenants issue, we right? Wanna, we got to be right. successful, so we don't be. Yes. Pick like all right. Out, but it'd be like, all right. So look, 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 look. So this is the thing, though, right? We do have managers, property managers, because we bought. All right. The first time we bought our properties in Jones, what is it, Jonesboro, right? We just bought it in our name, and then everybody find out about it. So we bought that, and then we bought our properties that is not on our name. Y'all not gonna know it's under a trustee. And um, so we do have property managers, but there are certain things that the property managers can do. We will literally have to physically be there in Atlanta, and we just don't have time for that you know what i'm saying like it's like we don't have time for that so it's just like we just let the time pass like it's like okay it's annoying but like do are we stressing that like tenants are not paying the rent and shit no because we don't really we don't really like we don't really care you know what i'm saying like we just don't care like it's like i'm 
I'm not moving my shit out the way. So it's like I go to court and I just file paperwork and we this, this and that. We just don't care. And at the end of the day, we're planning to selling the lands because now in Atlanta, I'm not going to front. Like we bought them shits for like, like we bought um, these properties for like 250. When was it? Like in 2019, 2018 for like 250. Uh, and the other one, we bought it for like 300. And now I think like the, the 250 one is like around the 400s. In Jonesboro, and like the other one is like five hundred now. I don't know. Um, but we just we just be doing so much. Like our career is, is just so much that it's like we don't the investment properties. They just we just let it sit there, honey. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> but all right, so let's talk about my new house. So I have a brand new built home, right? A brand new built home. It's freaky, freak, freak. It's freaky, freak. Freak, freaky, yo, freak, freak, freaky, ho. For, um, Barty Gang, are we going to talk about freaky, ho? And we're going to talk about a lot of stuff on Tuesday on Station Head. And I'm going to give y'all a surprise on Station Head. But y'all got to be in there. But anyways, all right, so let's talk about the brand new house that I bought, right? Brand new fucking house. Brand fucking new. Brand new, brand new, brand new. Um... 18,000 square feet home, right? So let me talk about my brand new house that I just moved in at the beginning of July. I moved in there the week before KK's birthday. Let me just talk to you about even on a brand new house, you got to spend so much money. So when I get to the house, we start noticing that like the light starts uh, coming out, uh, the lights start coming out in certain rooms. So my, my aunt room, the lights start coming out. And then uh, sometimes the, the lights start coming out in certain parts of the living room. So it's like, okay, we have a light problem. We have a light problem. So the builders built the, light, the lighting in codes. Like it, it's built perfectly in codes. However, there's a lot of people that stay in my house and we use a lot of electricity. So now we have to build new circuits around circuits, whatever the you call that shit around the house so i had to break down walls guess how much that cost me and i couldn't and i couldn't blame the builders because they they build the lighting and cold guess bitch guess how much that cost me bitch 40 bandos 40 bandos so i'm in the house already two months 40 bands just on lighting because you know i have a studio i have this i have that my, my house be crazy the lights be on bitch 40 bandos just on that. Oh, oh, oh. And, and let's talk about... Let's just talk about little shit like air conditioning. Let's talk about air conditioning. So, um, the house took like three years to build. So, there was, of course, air conditionings for like the past three years. You know, everything, whatever the f So, when we move in the house, we noticed that like the air conditioners, this just wasn't hitting strong enough all over the house. So, I had to buy a whole set of air conditioners bitch guess how much that shit cost me guess how much it cost me bitch now i want i want you to i want you to tell me how much you think that shit cost me tamu shoes on clear around the 30 bandos so just on the lighting just on the lighting alone in the air conditioner bitch three and four that's around 70 bandos on a brand new house. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Oh, 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 and let me tell so you know, so, so you know it's been raining like a mother in, 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 in New York and in Jersey. So, um, the eight, the, there was like a little, like the basement was getting like kind of wet and everything. The basement was getting kind of wet. This was a little cheap. This was around like ten thousand dollars and everything. But we had to get people to dry up the walls. All of this bullshit. That around right there cost ten thousand. And also, now this is my stuff. So I had somebody re redo. Like, all right. So when I moved, when I bought first bought the house, my son 
had like a certain type of tub and i'm like i feel like this tub is a little dangerous it wasn't even a tub it was like a shower so i'm like i want it like to be like a tub and everything so um so i had somebody redo the whole my whole my son whole bathroom so now we noticed that the person that i hired which is my sub, is not the builder's sub, so i can't even like you know have the builders pay for it we i feel like the my my son bathroom the tub is like leaking a little bit on the garage. So guess who gotta pay that? Me! So that's another like 20, 20, 30,000 bandos. So that's why I be talking about properties cost a lot of money. Whether your property is big, whether your property is small, you always gotta remember you are the owner. Okay? Oh my God. And let's not even talk about the Airbnb. The offset got me in the Dominican Republic. It rains all the time in the Dominican Republic. So it's always something. Always something. Always something. That And that's why I, I don't want to discourage people not to owning properties. But I am telling you, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. And and I, and I if I don't say it to y'all, then what? Like Y'all want me to lie about my experience? I'm not lying about my experience. And y'all, y'all want to call me dumb because I'm telling y'all about my experience. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? What I could say, though, what I could say, um... I don't like the I don't like the having tenant shit, but I will say this: the property that we bought in Jones, Jonesboro, Atlanta, and I don't know the other, I don't know where it was. It, it I don't know where it's. Damn, I said I don't know where else we bought some other shit in Atlanta. I must say this: I could. I'm not going to lie. The property, the investment properties that me and Offset. Bought in Atlanta, they're double, they're double, they're double the price. And we bought our house. We bought our house, the one that we we have in Buckhead, whatever Atlanta, whatever. You know, I don't give a fuck about Atlanta. Um, um, we bought our house for six M's. It's estimated for like seven to eight million. Like it be going up and down, up and down. But I will say this though. If y'all gonna buy properties, buy it in properties that um that business is growing, that shit is growing. Because I'm not even gonna lie, Atlanta is booming right now. Everything is double the price. Like I remember when in 2017, 2018, when we was house hunting, like the houses now are double the price. So yes, that's what I will suggest. So this right now is the time to sell. This right now, if you have a little property, is the time to sell because the prices are booming. Offset has had enough of Cardi B and Sister Hennessy taking over his live with Girl Talk. I turn out a little bit. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Yo! Look my beautiful wife back there. Yeah! My sister-in-law, we did. We are on the way right now to Rhode Island to do the CD signing, CD and vinyl signing. Y'all pull up, come set it off the album right now. Yeah, tell me in the comments what's y'all favorite song off the album. No skills, 2020, 21 out of 21. Back. Long Island, Long Island. Long Island. Long Island. I'm gonna put it in the thing. Pin it. Long Island. Looney. Looney Tunes record store. Um, so guys. So what do you guys? Oh, I like your phone. You have a. I feel like I have a filter on. I look good. Uh, I look good. <laughs> so guys, so 
Like, I don't know if I should ask your fans, but I should ask like my fans for my life. So, me and Austin, we was talking about this because some people have been asking me to do this if I should like have my own podcast. I do be wanting to have my own podcast, but I just feel like, first of all, it's like real topics, like ain't no bullshit topics, or like topics that like I see on social media that I be feeling like it's interesting. Um, I don't want to like, I don't ever want to say something and then like I get canceled or I get dragged because I don't got time for anyone. But then again, like it's like, I'm always, I'm always correct. Like, right? Yeah, yeah, yes, always, 100%, 1,000%. Like, for example, like, for example, like, a topic that I would talk about, right? What's, a, what's something that I saw? I saw it on a blog, and it would be, like, a good topic to talk about. Like, should your friend and your partner, uh, like, have each other, like, on Instagram or, like, have each other's number? And I thought that was like an interesting topic. I feel like I feel like yes, but then again, me and my me and my friends, our friends, I don't know. We we I feel like we have good judgments on friends. Like we have real right of our friends, and it's like I feel like there's levels to friends, right? I feel like this. I feel like you got your day one. Your day ones is like the ones that like you you know you grew up with as a teenager. Then you got your friends, your day twos, and your day twos is like the ones that like, you know, like when you, you, you meet them in their twenties and they, they become like your bestest friends and shit. And then you got like, you know, your business friends, like they kind of cool or some of them are not. So it's like, I find that like really interesting. It's like, should your partner and your friends have each other like number and everything. Over here, one thing about Austin, he gonna call my friends and tell him all the time. He one thing about him, he loves to call my friend. Yeah, they they get through to a different way than I did, than I can. Every time that he thinks that he thinks that I'm crazy, but I'm not crazy. He loves to call my friend. One thing about it, he loves to call my friend. But um, it just really depends. But then again, I have different relationships with my friends, right? I have really good friends. I be thinking sometimes you bitches. Not you bitches, because I don't like to judge. I don't like to judge other people and everything. But I be feeling like sometimes girls be feeling to be cool with other girls that they're not really your friend or they don't really like you. You just it's something about them that you like that you be so thirsty to be your their friend. And that's why they treat you like shit. Or then sometimes y'all be thirsty to be friends with bitches. They want your life or you secretly want their life and that's why they be doing you wrong that's why they be like jealous of you that's why they probably want what you have including your life your, your everything so that's why i feel like mom it depends on like the friendships that you have with like certain people but fortunately i never had none of those friends <laughs> today this is what I said to her 
And I would say this to the winos, put, please put your shit to the side because you don't understand. We got more mass shootings by kids. Kids are being influenced by these caricatures online. And I know that Cardi understands that a lot of the brand was a caricature, but who she is is not that. That's not the woman that parents her children. That caricature of a brand that, that, she's, that she has is not the woman that, that, that parents those kids. You can tell a lot about a person by how they parent their kids. I asked her and I sent her those messages. It was three because I said I started this platform to keep people out of depression and I misused it a lot. My friends always tell me this. They say that I am the toughest, weakest bitch. <laughs> but my heart is very big. And I'm not going to make decisions right away about things. I'm, I'm not going to make decisions right away because I got burnt so many times in life. I don't want to talk to my friends because my friends are looking at me like, bitch, don't you fucking ever. I'm not going to talk to my husband because my husband is calling me a pussy. And I'm not going to talk to my fans because I know the chat don't play about me. But I'm going to talk to my mom. I'm going to talk to my mom tomorrow because let me tell you something. I could tell when somebody is depressed. I could tell when somebody is going through some shit. And I could tell when somebody just feel like they don't have nobody to talk to. Surprisingly, it doesn't make me happy. I, I don't I don't want to make wrong decisions. That's why I want to I just want to talk to my mom tomorrow. I want to talk to my mom. I want to talk to my lawyers. But stop hurting people. Stop hurting people. Take a breather. Think. And I'm not telling y'all this because like like I said don't think that I'm like these this like this type of person that is like, oh, she's so nice. Like Cardi's such a nice person. Cause bitch, I can get real fucking nasty. So it looking like Cardi B thinking about dropping that lawsuit against Tasha K as well. Cause I know a few days ago, Cardi B, she was going back and forth online with some fans. It was just clowning her, calling her a Mexican, saying she lazy. So she was saying some disrespectful shit back to them. And they was like, damn, like, all we doing is talking shit. Why are you wishing death on us? And then she said, I feel like putting a gun in my head. Like, she was saying some wild shit about taking her own life. And then she was just speaking about being depressed and how she can't ignore the negative comments. And then Tasha K, she got on her platform and said what she said about people need to stop doing all this. And she came to Cardi B defense. So I guess somebody sent Cardi B that video and then that's when she got online and was talking about how she gonna talk to her lawyers. She's not gonna talk to nobody but her mom. Cause she already know what her fans gonna say. She know what Offset gonna say. She know what her friends gonna say. Because Tasha K, she did bring this on herself. I think back in 2018, 2019, Tasha K was going so hard on Cardi B. Saying she's drugging men, she's this, she's that. So Cardi B was well in her right to sue her ass, and I think it was like 4.3 million, but Tasha K, damn sure ain't got that money. I think she filed for bankruptcy, if I'm not mistaken. I forgot what happened with that situation, but Cardi B said that she gonna talk to her lawyers, thinking about getting it dropped. Like, I mean, at the end of the day, Cardi B, I'm pretty sure she made 4.3 million some shit of time since she filed that lawsuit. So she probably felt like it's pointless, and she know Tasha K don't got the money. So if she do drop it, I wouldn't be surprised because Cardi B definitely don't need the money. All she doing is telling Tasha K, don't be talking shit about me no more. So I guess we're just going to have to wait and see what she do, man. What y'all think about this? Be cool. Alright, back. Now we're going to start this time from the back. 
you know what I'm saying? You know, we like to hit the bitch from the back. We finna talk, we finna start just from the back. So, Cardi B, man, and Tasha K. Um, Tasha K, off the bat, you know, that's stupid, you know what I'm saying? Um, it just goes to show you, man, you can't be saying these people have herpes. You know what I'm saying? Making up these rumors and shit. Even, even if it's not a makeup rumor, nigga, even if she do. Nigga, we can't be out here saying this bozo ass shit. Now, we all understand that she would have, if the paperwork would have came out and everybody, like the whole, everything would have been saying it. Okay, but you was the only one who was saying that she had herpes. You know what I'm saying? Like, you de you put a definite match, make sure where the fuck on her name, on some crazy shit as far as that. You know, she got kids and she talking offset and everything, you know. You can't really be putting people business out here, you know. I understand that, you know, you want to tell people what's the truth and what it really is and what it ain't. At the same time, niggas, people got personal lives and personal business. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't be trying to, trying to ruin their business and they, they hold whatever they got going to say that they got a... Um, Herpes, you know what I'm saying, have a disease and shit. Like, one thing I don't really like playing about people's lives is diseases, you know, because diseases get, can get real. And that if a person come out and they say they got it or they got like doctors' uh, paperwork going around and so they got the some shit, yeah, we might talk about it. But if it's not that, we don't give a fuck, you know what I'm saying? Um, now, she learned the hard way. Um, everybody, she done lost the whole house. She lost, um, you know, we don't watch the videos about it. She crying. Her husband, nigga, he probably done went to another, uh, let's be honest, that nigga probably went to a whole new bitch out here, man, he's from Africa, that nigga went to a whole new bitch out here, probably went to a different type of, uh, race type of girl, you know how these niggas be from Africa, they be dating anything, uh, so, she was dating that nigga, and, you know, they were saying that, damn, that nigga down bad too, cause if she down bad, he down bad, cause nobody know that nigga, he probably didn't have no type of money, she had, Car Tasha K was making all the damn money, now, Tasha K filed for bank for bankruptcy. You know what I'm saying? She filed she filed for bankruptcy, and it basically I'm gonna ruin her life basically because she talking about killing herself, man. And, you know we ain't playing with no suicide shit like that, man. And you know it's getting bad out here. You know what I'm saying? And you know, um, uh, and yeah, so we got that situation. Cardi B might be uh, thinking about um letting that that um. Uh, that lost you go, which is, you know, you don't want to let your foot down off the, the op's neck, because you know you got to make a statement on somebody sometimes, you know what I'm saying, they playing game, you got to make a statement, so, you know, whatever Cardi B feels like, that's on her, you know, so I can't say do it or not do it, because at the end of the day, you know, it, it is what it is, you know, okay, now we can talk about, um, this, um, this, um, her trying to get um a talk show. Now she came on um y'all seen it with her with, uh Hennessy. And she tried, she basically why she wanna get a talk show, a podcast, you know what I'm saying? Now, do we really wanna hear what uh Cardi B had to say about relationships sometimes? Maybe kinda of somewhat. You know what I'm saying? Because she's in in the industry. That's the thing that people don't understand. Why people are like, why do y'all talk about rappers so much? Why y'all talk about whoop 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 whoop? Y'all be not understand that sometimes this music go farther than what y'all be thinking. The music, the, the people they, they working with, the labels, everything, it goes farther and deeper than what y'all thinking. You know what I'm saying? It just don't be for the face sell of the music. It's deeper shit. You know, a lot of shit, I ain't saying control the world, but a lot of shit is like impact the world. You know what I'm saying? So, it, you know, you never know, man. You never know what these motherfuckers, they could be dropping some shit. You never fucking know. And it could be some shit that, that, that okay, tight shit, but like, wow. You know what I'm saying? Like that, um, Gillian Wallow shit, you know? Shit happens, you know? They be talking and they dropping the clues and people be, you know what I'm saying? So, you just never fucking know, man. And, you know, Hennessy, she's a bad bitch, you know what I'm saying? That's, I guess that's, um, um, Cardi B, um, sister, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't know if that's her real name, because I know Cardi B not her um Cardi name, Cardi real name, and so I don't know if Hennessy is her real name, you know what I'm saying? But she looking like a bad bitch, you know what I'm saying? They were just talking based on my, um do they think that uh, friends be, should be talking to their best friends or like to, to, to your relationship person partner should be talking to your friend 
and had a number. Not like talk to but had a number and shit. If some shit happens, um, and I'm gonna say yes and no. Like I don't have no friends with like 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 who I can just trust my like if I had a bitch, like just like like if I had a bitch and like she was staying and like she needed a, sp a spot to stay, I told her, hey 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 homeboy. Oh, uh, she need a spot to stay. Can she stay with you for like a day or two, three days? No, you know what I'm saying. I don't. You know what I'm saying? I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't trust my bitch like that. You know, like you gotta know that your bitch gonna get piped out. You know what I'm saying? You just gotta be like, you, you just got willing to know that your bitch gonna get piped out. If you let your bitch stay around a nigga for like two, three days, she gonna get piped out. So you know, that's for nigga. That's for if, if there's a uh, girl and, and she, your nigga had to stay. Her nigga had to stay with a, a female. You can expect the same damn thing. You know what I'm saying? Just like. You know, some things you just don't want to tempt, you know what I'm saying? So, it depends on how you feel it, you know what I'm saying? Uh, that's a tough one. I, and that, to me, personally, no. But it, would I ever let it happen? I don't know. I just got to see how, how close, like, it, it, the situation would be able to get. You know what I'm saying? Like, if it was almost like some bang bros type shit, we just banging this bitch out. Maybe. But if it was those other shit, I don't know. Now, we're going to talk about this, this, um, this, um, housing shit. <laughs> I guess Cardi B got into uh, arguments with her fans, and a lot of fans were saying that uh, she Mexican and that they lazy and all this shit, man. And that's a yes and a no. You know, I'm black. I'm one of the hardest working motherfuckers in this motherfucking thing. They don't give black people enough credit how hard working black people are. They don't understand that we gotta go through all these goddamn situations to even get a job, keep a job, and have a job, and hold a job down. Yes, Mexicans gotta go through all this green card and shit. But when you get you a job, nine times out of ten, you'll get you a good ass job if you're a Mexican. You get you a good ass job to pay you good buku money. When you when, when there's black people, man, they try to hold us back to the littlest, biggest jobs out here. They don't give us the type of job they get, man. Construction work. We don't get the type of jobs. They hold us to the, the littlest jobs we can fucking get. And, and the whole time they still try to take you down with the popos and all this other shit. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like we work harder, but it's just all that shit get took it. You know what I'm saying? So we don't get to really show how good we be working out here because it get taken. You know what I'm saying? And it, it like, if you can't really show how hard we work, then you got these motherfucking bozos on the line saying, oh, you don't really lazy. Bitch, I put more work than <laughs> And with this picky thing that half these niggas on the line. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, so, and it, it all led back into the, the Birkin bag. You know what I'm saying? About how, you know, uh, how um she um she talking about she wanna she okay when you rent property nigga you need a property manager nigga you need a property renting manager you know what I'm saying if you go into this fucking business thinking that you Cardi B as yourself and offset is gonna be able to handle some fucking property by yourself you gotta be a lunatic you gotta be insane ain't no damn way just you and Offset would be able to be able to handle a motherfucking rented property. You need a written manager. You need somebody like a business base. You need somebody who's gonna go into them damn houses, who gonna tell niggas, pay me the damn rent. What's going on? Whoop do, fix this, fix that, cut the yard. You can't be doing this by yourself. And that's why I gotta go with at you, Cardi B, about this nigga. I feel like renting houses is the most smartest thing to do. Because at the end of the day, you want your crib, you want, now these days, it's not about renting, buying houses and shit because, you know, you, you kind of want to be moving around, you know, but, you know, at the same time, you do want that land, you know what I'm saying, because land goes a far away. That's why I said when, if reparations ever came back, you know, they ain't trying to give us shit, you know, we the real Jews and Hebrews, like, they ain't trying to give us shit. They get a fake Jews, a hundred billion dollars, we don't get shit. But if you ever got a reparation back, nigga, I would want the land, nigga. You know how party, nigga, imagine me with the land of motherfucking iPhone. You know what I'm saying? Apple. I want that land. You know what I'm saying? Give me that land. Okay, boom. So they got to pay me, they got to pay me rent to be on the land. They got to they gotta pay me property taxes and a rent for being, not property taxes. They got to pay me the rent and everything just for being on the land. You know what I'm saying? So I would have, to, I would have everything, for, so they be paying me. I be having big buku money forever. Like on a land, you gotta make, you gotta keep it up. You really gotta make a business out of it. But if you already you get you a land that already got business on it, yeah. So that's why I would say the land is always more important than the money.
Because the money, yeah, you get the money, but money, y'all understand, money is, is dying slowly, bro. And like, yeah, you can make you get that 350k quick as fuck, but it's going, it's gonna go so fucking fast. Everything's so fucking expensive. If you get the land, you gonna always have money. And you can pass that down to your kids. They can always get money. You know what I'm saying? Just smart shit. But Cardi B, you you had this all fucking wrong. You need you a, a a property manager. You need some. You need a business. You can't be going to, at this just you and Offset. That's stupid. That's bozo shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, a breaking bag is stupid. You know what I'm saying? Yes, you gonna get the money off of it. And yes, a breaking bag probably gonna always stay the same because it's a breaking bag. But that's stupid, nigga. You ain't do nothing with no fucking breaking bag. Nigga, you know what I'm saying? You might get money off of it. But nigga, as far as owning some shit and running some shit, you can't do nothing with no breaking bag. Nigga, ain't gonna take you serious with no fucking breaking bag. Now, if you got that, like you said, you got that seven acres of land, you got the six million dollar property and all these land. Yes, you can make some. You can make some shit with that. You just gotta get you a property manager. You know what I'm saying? A property manager to take care of all the business and all the shit that you don't want to take care of. And they hit you. And they go, oh, we need this fixed. And, and they hit you, come back at you with the bill at the end of the day. And man, you just make sure this person, whoever they're doing it, is legit and legal because they they can be scamming you too though. But you gotta make sure it's legit and legal whoever you go with, and it makes sure everything is is down packed to a T, nigga. You be making some money out here. You know what I'm saying? You make some money out out here. You did like crip. And you just, you just, you just can't be doing this bozo shit like forgetting that you got this property and letting these niggas sue you because you're not fixing shit. And, you know what I'm saying? Because businesses, you always have to fix shit. You know what I'm saying? It's always gonna come with you gotta pay some fixing shit, fix some shit up. So I understand that it's gonna cost you a lot, a buku money. You gonna lose money, but you know it's gonna take you about five to ten years to really get your money back. That's an investment. You know when you buy. Crib is an investment. You're not gonna make your money on it just like that. You know, you're gonna lose money, especially when you're not even in that bitch and you let it go right down and drain it and have a whole fucking flood. Yes, you're gonna lose a lot of money on it. You're gonna lose money, but that's an investment. You know what I'm saying? You expect to make your money back. What she said, what she was saying, she was, her houses did double. But you gotta understand, imagine if you would have kept the house up and really put that work in. Five, ten, ten years since she bought that, like a seven, 17. So it's been like five years, but. She didn't really put no work into them. She just let them run down. Imagine if they would have had a whole property manager out here, really just handling the business, getting everything fixed, get the people they knew who need to be fixed, getting all their money that's been paying on it. Imagine you, imagine you waking up one day and be like, who owned this house? And like, hold on, wait, it's Cardi B and Austin? Austin owned this house? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, damn, so I'm renting out, I'm renting from Cardi B type shit. That'd be crazy. She said she had some of the Dominican Republican. Bro, you just need you a pop a property manager. You need somebody who gonna who gonna take care of this motherfucking like a who gonna take care of these properties and they just come back to you and tell you what 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 it is and what it ain't. You know what I'm saying? Because at this point you you is wasting money because you're not really taking care of the businesses. You're not you letting these people fuck up the shit and you're not really just holding it like how you should. So yeah, and the tongue ring shit, man. That's I feel like she did that to keep uh, Austin kind of like you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying in that bitch, man. John Wayne's a crazy man, you know what I'm saying? That shit gotta hurt, man. Like, if, if it hurts, take that bitch out, type shit, man. But I hope y'all enjoy these videos, man. Make sure you like and subscribe these videos up, man. So, you know, the whole thing of this video, man, at the end, man, you know, the industry plan, um, she trying to, she got called off for the breaking backlash, uh, uh, starting a podcast, and she she forgiving Tasha K. So I hope y'all enjoy these videos. Me out the bitch. You know what I'm Gang shit. Hey dad, you know that when we link up, dog, this shit be legendary. You know this is instrumental. You the engineer on it, so pull that everywhere.